Well, good morning, my friends. It's that time of year again. I am in Oregon at the W70 Soda Camp Out. I flew and drove up last night, got here a little after midnight, so I'm a little tired, but we're going to get out and have some fun today. It's going to be awesome. You know where we're going? I do. It is time to go. We've got N7 Whee! KOM, KD7 DTS, Whoa. and K6 ARK at the W70 Soda Camp Out. We're gonna go try to get a first activation today. There will be shenanigans. We have arrived at the trailhead for Tipsu and Howlock, and it's gonna be a fun day. Yeah! And we're off. First up is Tipsu. This is a relatively easy short hike to the summit and that is going to be our gateway to Howlock theoretically. We'll see how that goes. Um, could be an interesting uh, traverse across the ridge there or we may drop back down to the PCT. Take that instead. But uh, what is this one like two miles ish or something? Mile and a half, two miles yeah. to the summit. What is this stuff called again? No. Well, maybe it's ash. There could be a volcano. Oh, interesting. No, there's no volcanoes up here. I don't know what you're talking about. About three miles and an hour. And we're here. If you ever go hiking with Tim and Mark, don't expect a leisurely pace. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Whew. And the distance is double what we say it is. Yep. Yeah, remember that uh, mile and a half comment at the start? What is this one, like two miles-ish or something? Mile and a half, two miles yeah. to the summit? We're at three plus. <laughs> but the views! Such a beautiful summit up here. This is the, uh, the key for the Quan Shang. It seemed to make sense at the time. So, you know, here we are. <laughs> Don't miss maximized. Five, six. Okay, KE7 PMN. I got yeah. descents by Tim here. Uh, your summit one more time. Thanks for CS10273. Good luck. Alright, that was my fourth. <laughs> uh, I still I still need a fourth. <laughs> the descent is real with the Quan Chang, but I got four yes, in the log and they're all summit to summit, so we're gonna call it good. <laughs> well Tipsu is done. We did a very good job of descensing each other while we were trying to work two meter stations, but uh, we got enough in the log. So we're gonna head over toward that bad boy. Let's see if we can get a first activation today. Whoop whoop. Yeah, yeah. Win. And we're off to the next one. Good luck, have fun. See you on the next one. Woo to the next peak. Onwards. Uh, look over there. We're going over there somewhere. Well, we are officially off trail, filling our shoes with pumice scree and making our way down to hopefully a ridge that we can traverse. Well, we got ourselves into a little bit of steep traversing, but uh, I think it's gonna work itself out pretty soon. Oh, yeah, we found us a nice little deer trail. I'll take it. Ooh, well, we're getting our first decent views of Howl Lock. I think we got to go around the base of the beast near that snow field. Get around to the other side to get up. This side looks a little spicy. That was loose. So loose. Well, sit there, it cried the town. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. For twenty brave men, all fishermen, who would make for him 
Tons of butterflies up here, so cool. Whew. That's the summit right there. Woohoo! This is it. Howlick Mountain here. So Adam is working on adjusting his summit bug, which, given how many mosquitoes we have, is still actually the biggest bug on the mountain, which is pretty impressive. All right. Need a little more spring tension here. Oh, that's better. Getting one. We've been doing very well on Summit the Summit today. About what are we seeing on the outline of the, the horizon here? Yeah, so that big pointy rock over there is Mount Kielsen. And it is the lightning rod of the Cascades. Uh, if you climb to the top of that, you'll see these uh, little pieces of glass called fulgurites, and that's where the lightning is actually struck and melted the rock. And if we uh, kind of pan this way, we have Diamond Lake. Uh, we're all camped at Broken Arrow Campground. And behind that is Mount Bailey, another really nice hike, about 2,500 feet to that one. The hike is, not the elevation of the summit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. oh, there's Gus. <laughs> Summit to summit.
<laughs> Sweet! Only a slightly badass operating position. So cool! So cool! All right, let's see if we can work Josh and the crew over there on Hillman Summit to Summit. DJ. Probably not the nicest thing to be doing to a bug, <laughs> throwing it in a pack and hauling it up mountains. So just so you guys can fully appreciate the size comparison here, this is the bug, which probably weighs three pounds. This is the KH-1 whole radio kit, which weighs less than a pound, I think, or right around a pound. Um, yeah. Not the everyday soda paddle, but you know, Sometimes you gotta do something fun. Well, it is pushing two o'clock and we're gonna start heading down the hill. We've gone, I think, five and a half or so miles for the day and we've got about the same to get back, maybe a little more. So I think we're gonna take a little bit easier route. And got the little steep down climb here and make it back to the Scree and Talus. And we're gonna head out kind of that away to the Pacific Crest Trail and take an easier route back. Should be good. So many butterflies. I think that flatland down there looks real easy. Yeah, I know, but I think this is the easier way to get to it, yeah, honestly. So. Oh, good times. I think we might need to empty our shoes. A little bit. Oh, open shoe. Schwacking. I think we're almost done with bushwhacking. All this snow up here still. So we're looking up at where we went. I'll draw a line on the, the uh, video there, but that doesn't look fun from down here. I think we took the challenge option. That was awesome. <laughs> Ten and a half miles, wonderful day out there, and uh, hopefully more to come tomorrow. 7-3 everybody, see you on the next one. So close. It's so hard. How do bugs even work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>